Today, I'm gonna to talk about five ways introverts can be confident public speakers. Because as an introvert, whether it was giving a presentation to a small group at work, or whether it was giving a speech to a large audience, I used to think that that was not something that I was going to ever be capable of doing or ever being comfortable with, much less confident. So if you feel the same way, no matter where you are on the spectrum, this video is for you. The first way that introverts can be confident at public speaking is through their mindset. And let me talk a little bit about that because as an introvert, you may be of the mindset that because you're an introvert, you can never be good at it. Here's the deal. Introversion has nothing to do with whether or not you can be good at public speaking. And introversion has no bearing on whether or not you're going to always be nervous with public speaking. Because public speaking is one of those top fears for everybody, even extroverts. Think about it, being an introvert really means that you get your energy internally, that a lot of external stimuli is exhausting for you. Now, it is true that as an introvert, you probably will get exhausted or feel drained after public speaking or after giving a presentation, but it doesn't mean that that means you can't be good at it or you can't be confident at it. Think about a great athlete. Whenever they're participating in the sport that they're really good at, it can still be tiring, but it doesn't mean that because it's tiring that they can't be good at it. So once you realize that being an introvert has nothing to do with how well and how confident that you can be as a public speaker, that is the first and the most important step. The second way as an introvert for you to be confident at public speaking is to really think about what is your comfort zone, meaning what's the number of people that you would currently feel okay speaking to and what's the number that would be scary and really establishing what is that magic number for you now that is within your comfort zone. So whatever it is that you feel most comfortable with, start there and then you can work up from there. Say for instance, your magic number is, well, if it's anything less than 10 people, then try to get an opportunity to where you speak to less than 10 people and then work up from there. But don't double it all at once. Don't go from 10 to 20 because that could be pretty scary. Just do a few more than 10 and then a few more than that. This is what I have done over the years to not trick my brain, but to train my brain going, okay, well, I've done this, then that means I can go to the next level. So for me, when I started, it was a group of 20 or less is where that was going to be my comfort zone. I didn't want to speak in front of more than 20 people. And I worked up over the years and now I'm up close to 2000 and I feel comfortable with there. So you know your comfort zone. So you know what you want to train your brain to do and then work up in small increments from there. Number three, and that is take out as many of the unknowns as possible. And a lot of times you can do that more than you think you can. We as introverts hate surprises and we want to know everything that we can about a situation. We want to know what to expect. So there are no surprises. So the first way to take out the unknown, which always is gonna be in your control, whenever you are rehearsing what you're going to say, if you are rehearsing it silently in your head, because introverts love to be in our heads, that's natural for us, start saying it out loud so that you can hear what you sound like so that it's not an unknown when you get up there and you start speaking and you're hearing yourself saying it out loud for the first time. Not only that, but if you're going to be standing when you're speaking, then you want to stand when you're rehearsing. You want to do everything that you can to take out the unknowns whenever that big moment comes and you are speaking. 
One of the things that really works well for me is if I'm speaking in person versus, versus virtually is to actually go inside the room where I'm going to be speaking and to practice out loud in that empty room just to get a feel of what it sounds like and what it feels like to be in that room. Now I've got some more tips on how to remove a lot of the unknowns whenever you're preparing to speak. And I've got that video above and in the description below, how to calm your nerves when speaking in public. The fourth way introverts can be confident at public speaking is to really ramp up, ramp up your energy, ramp up your energy through confident body language, ramp up your energy through an enthusiastic tone of voice. Because as introverts, we tend to be more subdued so ramping up is not usually something that we do naturally as far as ramping up our energy but we can do that whenever we know that we're going to be speaking because ramping up your energy ramping up your body language is going to make you appear confident and feel more confident on the inside as well my speaking mentor, Roddy Galbraith, told me just a few months ago, he said, you need to ramp it up more. He said, in fact, I have to tell practically everybody to ramp it up even more. So even though it may feel like you're ramping it up a couple of notches, take it up just a couple of notches more. And the fifth way to be confident in public speaking is don't admit to your audience that you are nervous or that you are scared or that you are out of your comfort zone or you don't normally do this. Because when you do that, when you announce that to the group that you're speaking to, then you know that they know that you really are nervous, that you really are scared. And then what's going to happen is it's going to be difficult for you to try to appear confident because you've already told them that you are not confident. And so you're gonna be much more likely to live into that fear, to live into that insecurity than if you had not told them about your inner anxiety. If you've told others you're nervous or scared, then others are going to expect you to act nervous and scared. And we tend to act the way others expect us to act. Now, are you an introvert who's getting more confident with speaking in public or presenting at work? If so, share some of the things that have helped you in the comments below so that we can all learn from each other. Thanks for watching.